Hi, welcome to my channel. Uh, this video is a part 2 video about how to install a wash basin. In the previous video I show you how to install the uh, tap onto the wash basin, also uh, the waste underneath and the last bit was uh, how to fix the whole thing onto the wall. Yeah, so now before we put pedestal we've got enough space to connect all of this underneath. So now I can see that this this pipes are I mean this one is fine can connect it straight into here. This is the cold water, but the hot water is not enough. So I'm gonna use the straight uh, compression joint connection. Then I need uh, just a little bit of copper pipe and I slide it between these two compression joints. So I've got a piece of copper pipe. As you see there is an olive in it and nut. The same here, olive and nut. And now here's a washer in it. So the rubber washer just seal it. Don't tight don't tight it too much, just a little bit. And this should be enough. Same here. This should be fine. Yeah, so now we need to connect the waste into the uh, waste pipe. So we need a bottle trap for this. So now I need to cut this this bit. Uh, let's make it six centimeters. So this waste pipe is a solvent waste pipe. So that means uh, to join it, you need to use the solvent cement. So these two joints uh, on this band. But in a bottle trap, you've got a compression joint. So you just need to put it. Basically, to put this blue ring first, then the washer like this, and you can tighten it as much as you can. First, let's glue this pipe, and then we can easily put this one back.
So now check, let's check for leaks. <coughs> we can open the water. There are insulation valves here, so you need to use flat screwdriver. Just open this one. Hot water as well. So everything looks okay so far. Um, the most common leak when you install the uh, wash basin is between this washer and the ceramic uh, basin, the best ceramic bowl. So then you need to unscrew it, put the silicone in between and screw it back. Obviously you need to wait 24 hours because the silicone is drying that much, that long. Uh, but if there will be any leak from here so you can always tighten it more and should sort it out the, the issue. So now we can fit the pedestal. So as you see this wash basin is movable about a little bit. So you, you need to lift it a little bit and just slide the pedestal under. And now we can tighten all the screws that hold the, the whole basin onto the wall. And that's it. So if you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel for more videos and thank you for watching.